Okay, let's go again. Hopefully I'm not going to be um, a really pig. Except for having another Miller Light, that is. Um, so I looked at that game quickly with, with Rivka in post-mortem analysis, and I think I was saying black was better, actually. Instead of bishop takes b2, knight gf6, I would, could have had a good game with a basic plan, I think, of doubling up rooks uh, with like rook b4, later the other rook to b8, and and then a timely c4. So I think it was a dangerous position for white, even though white had the light square bishop. There was plenty of counterplay there on the b file. But taking on b2 was just handing white the advantage. Anyway, so Yassim, 2105 IM. So what horrible variation has a sitting has he prepared for me or going to be playing? Oh, this one. Can I play f3 here? Or, um, I'll invite this knight g4, I think. Lion knight g4 on queen b6. I've, I've looked at that from yesterday. Ah, oh, he's, he's avoided that. Has he, has he got lag? This game's going to last longer than 10 minutes. If he's got lag. So, G4 here. I'm going to G5 now. I know it's fairly, fairly crude, but um, often effective. So I want to just play H5 and G6. <clears throat> and not to be so greedy as the game before. Try and improve my pieces first before trying to win material. Uh, it's usually safer. Things don't backfire as easily then when you start munching. So, uh, okay, knight a4 or knight e2. Maybe knight e2 to g3. I mean, I've played this before. This kind of maneuver. Uh, bishop e3. Right. Do I need to play King B1 at some point? Is it just losing time? Maybe I just play eight, uh, Bishop. Um, actually, Knight G3 looks good because the, these light squares and Knight F5 possible. So, uh, in fact, Knight F5 is looking interesting here. Uh, I've got to be careful about Knight B3s. Maybe King B1 sort of safeguard doesn't lose too that too much time. But uh, should I be considering knight f5 to get that light square bishop if nothing else? I should have done it, shouldn't I? Because I was attacking d6. Uh, Alright, time to do it now. I think. Hopefully I'm not going to get completely murdered on, on, on this side. Maybe b3, a3 to try and keep things closed. So is A3 any good? Um, okay, so Queen takes. Right, so he's taking F3. Let me take on C5 if I want to. I take on c5, it was rook c8. Uh, I don't know, that's queen a4. I'll get a big light square bishop if I take on c5. About f6, f6 with the other rook takes d6, gf, gf, bishop f6, rook d6. Queen f3, bishop b5 check. I think f6 looks tasty, actually. Trying to dismantle his position starting with d6. I'm attacking um, c5 and f6 now. Oh, two pieces attacking c5. But he's got knight e6. Uh, knight e6. Yeah, knight e6. Rook b6. Rook b6 good here. 
Got my bishop b5 check. Um, also got to consider rook e6 in some lines now. It's possible, so check. Maybe. Um, I could play rook f1. Takes on e3, rook takes f6. What about bishop h6 first, then rook f1? Bishop h6. And rook f1's looking good. There's kings on the f file. This could be a hack attack coming up. So rook f1 here. I'm actually threatening then rook takes e6, protecting h6. So um where's his queen going? Can't go to e3, thankfully. So if queen goes over here, then rook takes e6. If it goes to h3, though, he's protecting that. So h3. Uh, I don't know, bishop d7, bishop takes e6, bishop takes e6, attacking h3 and f7. Same principle here, bishop d7. Bishop d7. I'm going to go for it, bishop d7. I can't, is there anything stronger? Rook takes f7. Can't see any lethal checks on c7. So bishop d7 looks good. I'll go for that. Bishop d7. Now I might be threatening rook f7 and bishop d6 if he's not careful. That's a bit wild, isn't it? But so his king's just precarious. His rook's trapped in. This rook's not brilliant. So it's a great position to try and smash a title play from. Um, all right, anything else to consider? Apart from munching this in the light a bit more. Um, knight d4. Maybe bishop takes g7, bishop g4, and just be a piece up if he's going to take on c2. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, here, just bishop g7, surely. Oh, king takes. Hang on. Uh, rook takes e6. God, all sorts of things seem quite crushing here. Rook e6 has got some nice points because then I'll have. Queen c6 attacking a8 and threatening bishop e6, forking uh, queen and king. Um, is that making the most out of the position, rook e6? I, I think it seems good. It knocks out another defender. Uh, so queen c6, so attacking a8 and e6. Leaving my bishop hanging, but also bishop e6 is pretty nasty in its own right um, for, the, for the king uh, getting mated. It's just bishop, well, bishop e6 is now mating, isn't it? Bishop e6. Oh god, no, I've just lost the bishop to check. Oh god. Okay. No no panic, no panic. The rook i8 is still attacked. It's not, all is not lost. I, I did miss that check. Ouch. <laughs> So bishop takes, oh, he's resigned, he's resigned. I mean, it's hopeless anyway. Oh, blimey. Let's have a look at that. So open Sicilian. English attack again. Third victim in a row with this system. It's just a very, very dangerous system. Um, so getting the light squared bishop is interesting. Keeping the position closed, I think, was a practical decision there. Um, F6 was nice because it was dismantling pawn chain and stuff, um, so c5 is now vulnerable. Rook b6 is nice to be able to play bishop b5 check, and also using the f is very nice. I mean that was quite a crush actually, but um, yeah, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.